Everyone has bad days. Sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Sometimes the barista adds regular vanilla syrup to your skinny latte when you ask for sugar-free. Sometimes lava from a volcanic eruption swallows your car. It's clear that no matter how bad your day has been, it's likely somebody has had an even worse day. So maybe steer clear of elevators on those days. Maybe be the first to flee in a natural disaster and definitely don't show off your new robot at a tech conference. It will not end well. Here are 15 people having a worse day than you, part two. Off for the other unknown passenger in her car. Here's the snake curling out of this vent. <laughs> Number 15. Woman trapped in elevator for three days. How was your weekend? I bet it was better than this unlucky person. Just off Madison Avenue near Central Park in New York City in 2019, a woman got trapped in a private elevator for three days. And it wasn't even the owner of the property, it was the housekeeper. Apparently, the owner was away for the weekend, visiting family, when his poor staff member got shut in the entire time. The emergency transmissions indicate that, yeah, she was stuck the whole time from Friday to Monday until a family member of the owner and a delivery person arrived. And after a 911 call, firefighters soon followed up and found the woman stuck between the second and third floors. And after a checkup and some serious hydration, and most definitely any meal she wanted, the woman was unharmed. But the real tea is that the owner had been issued an aggravated violation by the Department of Buildings in New York City for failure to provide access to inspectors. Someone in the house actually prevented a safety inspection. Private elevators in private residences require one annual inspection. And it's clear that this family didn't live up to the right code. That woman trapped in such a confined space for three whole days. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Open discussion. Imagine this being your car. Thousands of Hawaiians had to flee the approaching lava during the 2018 Lower Puna eruption on the island of Hawaii in May of 2018. And as you can see, it was just not happening for everyone. The lava was just too immense, too quick for cars to get through in some places. The eruption followed a 5.0 magnitude earthquake that opened a 492 foot crack in the earth with lava shooting, according to locals, 150 feet in the air. People watched in terror as molten rock spread down paved streets, swallowing many cars. Now that is a bad day. What would you do? Comment below using the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, robots bad day. It's not quite rise of the machines level robot realness, but it is a hilarious fail meant to be a demonstration of a new robot's abilities. The humanoid Atlas robot, Boston Dynamics hybrid cyborg. The newly overhauled robot was designed to move indoors or outdoors with specialized mobile manipulation that could allow Atlas to correct itself even when pushed or tripped. And not only that, it's electrically powered and hydraulically actuated so it can pick stuff up and Atlas can get up from a curled up position, first hands, then knees, then back to a completely upright and maneuverable position. However, do you think this robot demo was hampered by the fail? Because there's no way this robot was getting up from this epic fail. Didn't Professor Stephen Hawking warn us about the dangers of artificial intelligence? He thought that one day robots will actually replace us and that artificial intelligence could become so next level it would be capable of outperforming humans. In the meantime, they might not rise up against mankind, but they'll take embarrassing tumbles off stages at tech exhibitions. Number 13. The Steve Bartman Incident If you've ever been to Chicago, then you know Cubs fans are some of the more notoriously baseball-obsessed loyal fans in the world. And as this Cubs fan found out, don't mess with the Chicago Cubs. As Steve Bartman was about to discover, it was the eighth inning in Game 6 of the National League Championship Series, and Chicago was in the lead. A foul ball was hit into foul territory in the left field. Cubs outfielder Moises Alou shot after the foul ball and up against the fence, tried to make the catch, and, well, of course, the crowd reached for the ball, specifically Cubs fan Steve Bartman, and he accidentally deflected the foul ball from Alou's glove. In baseball, this would have meant the second out of the inning and the Cubs would have been even closer to winning a National League pennant. The last time they achieved that was in 1945. 
and many believe they lost the series because Steve Bartman tried to grab the baseball from the outfielder. Needless to say, Cubs fans were not happy. Bartman had to be police escorted from the ballpark, his personal information was posted online, and the mayor even suggested he enter the witness protection program. Number 12. Rocket Melts Camera One would expect a rocket launch to be a symphony of moving parts in order to achieve a successful takeoff. Any number of things could go wrong, and that is no exception when it comes to documenting these important NASA events. Photographer Bill Ingalls was assigned to the job of shooting pics of the monumental Falcon 9 rocket launch, which carried two satellites into orbit that would monitor glacier sizes and water levels. But one of his cameras melted in a fire. However, the incredible photographs survived. He had set up his camera at what he thought was a safe distance, about a quarter mile from the launch pad. The distance would allow great close-up shots of the event, and he was safely far enough away that he could use a remote control to snap the pictures. In fact, he had many cameras set up designed for the same purpose. However, the lens and the casing of his camera were literally melted by a bushfire that had broken out. These kinds of small fires after a launch are common, so emergency response workers are poised to deal with the aftermath, but the camera would not survive. However, the glorious picture did. The photographer had captured pics for NASA for over 20 years. Number 11. Accidental Ford Bronco Buying a car is a big deal. It's a life-changing decision for most and they cost a lot of money. Just ask Adam Sidoti, who had traded in his old car, saved up his money, and hoped to finance Ford's new Bronco Sport Compact crossover from a dealership in Tampa Bay, Florida. The compact version was a more affordable option of Ford's newer, unreleased Broncos, but what he paid for is not what he got. Turns out the dealership had accidentally sold a display model that was not intended for sale. It was a mannequin or a demo model that Ford had sent them. A Bronco that wasn't even going to be available to the public for more than four months. So after he drove off the lot with his new car, he had no idea that he wasn't supposed to own. Needless to say, upon discovering the mishap, the Florida dealership reached out to the new owner. They wanted the vehicle back. And, well, Ford did too. The model was on loan for promotional purposes only, but Sedoti pressed on with dealership management who at first would not budge on demanding the return of the Bronco. But once the press found out, that was it. The company made sure that the accidental Ford Bronco owner got to keep it. Number 10. Frozen Car When you're out for drinks with pals on a freezing winter's night in Hamburg, New York, be careful where you leave your car, because the freezing weather off of Lake Erie just might freeze it for the night. Certainly you would expect owner Justin Yaline to be used to these types of weather conditions in this area, but maybe after a few drinks he forgot. His 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer had got super stuck in the parking lot of a local restaurant. The car already was coated in thin ice when he left the restaurant, the tires were not going to move, and the puddles of water surrounding the car were frozen solid. So his only choice was to get a ride with a friend or send for an Uber. Or I guess is the bus still running? Photos and videos flooded the web. The Mother Nature Made Ice Sculpture is the viral stuff dreams are made of, and anyone who lives around a great lake in North America knows winters can be long and brutally cold, especially on Lake Erie. The only thing to do was free the car from the ice using some hot water, a bit of elbow grease, and some sturdy manpower. The vehicle was freed, and once the ice was removed, the Mitsubishi Lancer was taken to an auto body shop to thaw. Number 9. Ba Rock This Merino Ram has an amazing story. This poor creature was found roaming alone by a sympathetic citizen. The Merino Ram, which rescuer called Ba Rock, was discovered existing completely isolated from a herd, all alone with a thick, problematic, overgrown wool, the kind of coat that would need to be removed immediately. Merino sheep do not shed their fleece like other species might and need to be shorn every year to keep the sheep healthy and happy. Otherwise, the wool continues to grow, and Ba'a Rock's hooves were in great condition from all the time alone, moving over rocky terrain in the forest. However, as you can see, he was in a bad way. He was underweight, and with all the excess wool around his face, it was impossible to see properly. It was definitely time for a haircut, and when they finally got the lonely animal to a sanctuary close to Melbourne, they were finally able to free the adorable sheep from the prison of his own fleece. 75 pounds of it! Just to give you some perspective of what that means to an Australian, that's half the weight of an adult kangaroo. That's over 60 wool sweaters. That's over 490 pairs of socks. 
That's a lot of mittens. Number eight, YouTuber ruins everything. Ever heard of Orbeez? Us neither, but you may have seen this viral sensation before. Cyril Schreiner, a French YouTuber, attempted to film an insane stunt using Orbeez, which are little colorful seeds that grow to massive sizes when you add water. They grow 100 times their original size. His idea was to fill a bathtub with them and proceeded to pull the plug. These were originally invented as a way to keep moisture in soil for plants. The plant roots absorb the water from the beads anytime the soil gets dry. These little innovative moisture absorbers have been used in diapers too. Or bees beads absorb more water again once water is replenished. However, when Schreiner decided to pull this stunt for his followers, certainly he didn't expect this outcome. Instead, the little mini water balls turned to big water balls. They started to travel through the plumbing and spill out of the toilet, the sink, and it just goes downhill from there. But the internet loved it. Even though it's rumored he interrupted the drainage and plumbing in the entire neighborhood and the police had to get involved. Worth the likes? Uh, we'll let you decide. Number 7. Russian Gold Drop You've heard of a mic drop. What about a gold drop? Back in 2018, a Russian plane left a little something extra on the runway behind it upon takeoff. After the cargo was loaded and ready to go, the Antonov plane, fully loaded with loads of precious metals, was refueling at an airport at Yatutsk in Siberia. Things didn't go quite as planned. As the plane was taking off, the cargo doors flew open, and gold literally rained down on Russia, almost 200 bars of it scattering the runway. On top of that, the concentrated ore bars used to transport all the precious metals weighed over 9 tons. Officials reported strong flows of air during takeoff, partially tore off the cargo hatch. However, it's safe to say that negligence of the humankind was behind the golden shower, and gold bars were said to have rained down for 16 miles after takeoff, so the plane was forced to return to the airport and sort the whole mess out. Local newspapers reported that the cargo contained diamonds and platinum and from an area of Russia known for diamond mining. And perhaps somebody knew what the cargo was made of and sort of deliberately left the cargo door unlocked. Who can say? The cargo's value was reportedly $368 million. Number 6. Snake on the Highway Find snakes anywhere and you'll naturally get the snakes on a plane jokes, but literally snake in your car while you're driving down the highway? That's no joke, especially not for Monica Dorsett. As she was driving down a Florida highway, a snake came slithering out of an air vent in her car. She reached to turn on the air conditioner and the snake was inches from her hand. Although the sneaky snake scared the hell out of her, Monica managed to make it safely to the side of the road cutting across two lanes to get to a parking lot, and after successfully getting it out of her vehicle, it tried to go back in. Keep in mind, snakes are cold-blooded, so they often rely on the environments around them to regulate their own core body temperature. It may have made perfect sense for the snake to be laid out in the air vents. Dorset also filmed the creature slithering around outside the car, but when the snake tried to go back into her vehicle, that's when I really freaked out, Dorset said. They say the best thing to do is to make noise and bang on the hood of the car, then stand back. Although they also say a snake in your car is a blessing in disguise. They prey on rats and mice, which you also don't want in your car, right? Number 5. Frozen Pizza Pile-Up And now to another nightmare on a highway. You can imagine the outpouring of emotions people had when they saw this especially pizza lovers. An 18-wheeler tractor trailer hauling large cargo of frozen pizzas crashed into an overpass in Arkansas. Fortunately, nobody was hurt, but the trailer was ripped open and delicious pizza rained over the interstate. And as you can see, the accident caused a huge mess. Footage from the choppers on the scene captured all the pizza ingredients, the packaging, and the fuel from the truck spread dangerously all over the highway for hundreds of feet beyond the crash site. But the pizza tears can't stop being shed just yet. Traffic was affected in huge ways and was back up for hours in both directions. No doubt it took crews hours to clean up the frozen flatbread fiasco. The pizza party piled up was so extra that officials had to bring it in the big machines to clear pizza piles out. But considering there was spilled diesel fuel all over it too only makes it for a tense, albeit ridiculous situation. I wonder how many people stuck in traffic were lucky enough to enjoy a slice. You know, a few drivers ended up with some frozen pizza of their own. Number 4. 41 Hours Trapped in an Elevator 
This might be the longest smoke break in history, but most definitely the smoke break from hell. And it all started around 11 p.m. for Nicholas White back in the 90s on a Friday evening. The 43-year-old production manager, working late, decided to go for a cigarette. Not really thinking about it, he told his co-worker he'd be right back and without his jacket left the building for a much-needed break. After White was finished, he passed through the lobby and waved to the staff as he passed, totally oblivious to what was about to happen. And as you do, he got into the elevator and pressed the button for the 43rd floor. As you can tell, it did not go well. The express elevator accelerated with no stops below the 39th floor and the building was practically empty at that time of day. But after a jolt, the elevator stopped. The video shows White pacing, trying to open the elevator doors and the hatch. He of course goes fetal and eventually lies face down in frustration. He focused on remaining calm because whatever the malfunction, he thought it unwise to jostle the car. When asked how he used the bathroom, answer he pried open the doors and made use of the shaft below the elevator. Number 3. Melanie Martinez Melanie Martinez has been called the unluckiest woman in America. Why all the bad luck? Five of her family homes have been wiped out by hurricanes. With so much experience with hurricanes, Martinez and her family, including her husband and her elderly mom, started shuttering the windows and packing up their Louisiana home to evacuate when Hurricane Isaac struck back in 2012. Struck is maybe too kind of a word, but because Isaac hammered the region hard and as they tried to flee, the truck broke down and the three people were forced to head into the attic of the house and pray for the Category 1 storm to end without injury or worse. Their little town just south of New Orleans had some protection from the hurricane, but around 2 a.m., floodwaters surged over the 8-foot levee, which unleashed a 12-foot wave on the community and the trio had to be rescued by a brave neighbor. But they lost the house. Once again, Martinez and her family lost all of their possessions for the fifth time. Martinez had lost four other homes in the last 50 years to hurricanes. Betsy in 1965, Juan 20 years later in 1985, George in 1998, and Katrina in 2005. Number 2. The Unluckiest Man in the Village the village of Sodato in northern Spain was a remote, unremarkable farming community. Unemployment typically was high, and most of the farmers struggled to make ends meet. However, a Spanish lottery retailer had issued 1,800 first prize tickets, a Christmas tradition in Spain, and most of them ended up in the hands of Sodato residents. But not this guy, because when this little Spanish town won, they had each won a share of a jackpot worth $922 million. Each of the households got at least 130 grand, but not Costis Mitsotakis. Sodato residents pooled their ticket purchases and he did not get in on one of the lucky winning tickets like everyone else did. The local housewives association had gone door to door selling them, but somehow managed to miss his home. It took about a day and a half before Sodato's unluckiest man to realize that he, in fact, wasn't a part of the village's big win. So instead, he decided to celebrate with his community and capture it all on camera to immortalize the monumental moment in Sodato's history. With camera in hand, he headed to the town square and began rolling, and the unluckiest man hopes to turn the footage into a documentary. Number 1. Julianne Kopka Taking a plane anywhere can be stressful. The airport alone can send anyone over the edge with all the lineups and delays and let's not forget the security checks. But this person's day literally was the worst. When she was a teenager, Julianne Kopka was heading home during the holidays when flying over the Peruvian rainforest with her mother when the plane, Flight 508, was struck by lightning. Before that, 10 minutes into the flight, there were already problems with bad weather and heavy turbulence was causing overhead luggage to fall. Christmas gifts and personal belongings were everywhere around the plane, and that's when Julianne noticed the lightning and then a bright flash on the left outer engine. The commercial airliner was struck by lightning during a severe thunderstorm and broke up mid-air, disintegrating two miles above the ground. But incredibly, that was not the end for this unlucky traveler. Julianne was the sole survivor of the crash, even after plummeting almost 10,000 feet, still strapped to her seat. Then survived 10 days alone in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, literally surviving on the Christmas sweets she found thrown around the crash site. That was 15 people having a worse day than you part 2. Thanks for watching.